It wasn't a tip off as such, no, it was, it was through the work that the team was doing, just methodically going through all of the work, all of the evidence. Most of it, phone data. The 36-year-old man, suspected of taking Cleo from her family's tent, locals say he was a loner and kept to himself. Now, accused of kidnapping and holding captive a four-year-old little girl. Just walking around town, it feels like this cloud has been lifted. Hours after he was arrested, an ambulance from the lockup to hospital. I don't know, I just heard a bit of banging in that, a uh, bit of banging, a uh, near that and that on the wall. He left a trail of blood, heard screaming, I'm sorry. The breakthrough, unexpected, unlikely, unbelievable. They may have lost Cleo, but they never lost hope. Joey Catanzaro, you're outside the home where Cleo was found. Where does the investigation go now? Koshi, police are hoping to formally charge Terence Kelly later today with kidnapping. If there are any other charges, they may take some time. A lot will depend on what evidence, if any, they're able to extract from the home behind me where Cleo was allegedly held captive. Now, uh, there's also a possibility that specialist officers will be having a ch chat with Cleo today, uh, possibly in the coming days, and a lot will depend on what she tells those officers. As for, for Kelly, well, he uh, last night was taken to Carnarvon Hospital. Uh, he's since been transferred back to the holding cells. Uh, we're told that he's probably unlikely to face court today. It really will depend on when those charges are, are laid. Detectives are still building a case though that Cleo's now home and that's the end of the, the the search but really this is the beginning of the criminal investigation yeah yeah All right, exactly. Joey. thank you Joey uh, look let's go to the police Deputy Commissioner Cole Blanche joins us now uh, good morning to you we talked to you yesterday obviously a huge day a remarkable rescue thanks for your time what's the latest development in your investigation so we still have the 36-year-old uh, male in, in our custody. He's still assisting with inquiries. Um, look, he's gone off to hospital. Um, he's gone off a, to hospital again this morning. Uh, the important thing for police, if we're going to interview someone about offences as serious as this, that's something that we will need them in a condition where they've had rest, uh, they're in a good mental state, uh, they're, they're, they've been fed. So we've got to make sure we give them the best opportunity to, to answer our questions. And that's to ensure that the court process um, mm. you know, is validated when, if, if we get to that point. Cole, you've been emphasising that this wasn't part of a, a sinister, wider child abduction ring, which, which sets every parent's mind at ease, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the, the, the number one um, focus for police is to have the community feel at ease. You know, we want people in WA to enjoy our lovely state. We don't want them afraid of camping, you know, one of the one of the greatest things to do in Western Australia. So we have to give that public reassurance that the, the investigation that we've done, the outcome that has been obtained is something that, you know, we will move on with this investigation. But as far as the community themselves, that fear can probably now go away.